Hey everybody, making a final video here on my X1 DACA jet because I did actually get it finished. Uh, I got it painted with the airbrush and then I uh, went ahead and did the, the details and the washing. It really didn't take very long uh, once the airbrush work was done. I just had to paint the interior, uh, do a little bit of metal dry brushing, and then wash the whole thing. Uh, the base colors are uh, the same camo pattern I used on the other DACA jet uh, with a light blue bottom. And then I went ahead and washed the whole thing with new and oil. Except when I did the washing, I took the brush and did streaks front to back on the whole thing, over the wings, over the tail, and especially from the nose radiating out. So you have the whole thing like it was all the dirt had been coming from the front as it had been moving through the air. Outside is a little clear piece on the back here so it sits flat again while it's sitting on the ground instead of tilting on the tail like it did before. The uh, door still opens here on the side, so you can see the work pilot inside. I won't be able to see too much of the screen panel, but that's fully detailed as well. And uh, yeah, I really like how this came out. And I went ahead and finished up the other deck again. So what I did for the flying stand, I just took a broken piece of defense line, beat it up, I uh, added some green stuff. I had the leftover green stuff from the base, so I just added some corrosion here. And this nice little thud hit on the side. Uh, didn't penetrate. So it uh, that's, a, that's a made cover save right there. So that finishes up the X1 DACA jet. And I also finished, did the same washing thing on my other DACA jet. Now I have a lovely little pair of uh, Flood Axe DACA jets, which I used in my last battle report to great effectiveness. Uh, I took the uh, comms link with the Aegis Defense Line instead of the plug gun, so I could have the uh, planes on turn two without having to worry about it. So I used the Ludus to t kill the opponent's quad gun, and then I brought in the planes on turn two. And they were highly effective. However, they did both get shot down by bolter fire. Uh, so in the AV-10, they're not really resilient. So I would expect that to happen quite a bit. But at least they can get one good turn of shooting. I also took a weird boy to try and get multiple walls, but that didn't work. Uh, so I did get the first wall where both planes came on, shot 19 shots each, or 18 shots each. And that uh, was a lot of firepower. So I really like, really like DACA jets. Especially if you can kill some interceptor before they have a chance to come in. That's X1. And the best part is this X1 is virtually the same size as the stock deck at the wing. The wingtip to wingtip is the same length. And it's only about you know an inch longer overall from tip to tail than this deck jet. Oops, just the camera. Uh, so size-wise, it's really good. It's nice and bulky. The body is nice and round. Actually, even a little bit bigger. Now I'm looking at it side by side. It's actually even a little bit bigger than the stock DACA jet, which is fine. Uh, but definitely cutting it down the tail, cutting, cutting it a little shorter, is definitely a big help as far as the scale goes. But really, I'm really happy um, with both of these planes, how they came out. The, the very dirty, streaky look I got on them. Just normal washes. Also took some um, Agress or Shade Wash and did streaks on the wings on both of them, make it look a little dirty. I also did some dirt streaks on this one. I did do on this one some dry brush and dirt on here. Uh, the same color here for the base and some browns, just kind of make it look like dirt that come come up from the planet, uh, went down on the plane while it was flying. So that's pretty much it. Just a real quick update conclusion of the X1 DACA jet. I guess it's something I can do. And I'll talk to you later.